I'm now on the fence. Ah, oh, I cannot believe it. For our first dinner, for our first night on the fence, we have lentil dal and damper bread. Naming my trolley, Trevor, um, makes me feel like I do have a little bit of company. So, I've just decided I'm gonna name the fence. I shall name ye Philomena the Fence. I've now just met the new state barrier fence. My fence has disappeared and um, it's joined up or turned into the state barrier fence. And I'm now on the wrong side. The other side is a clear track. And mine, obviously, is not. Spider webs um, seem to be in abundance on this fence. The spiders look like they wrap their dinner around the middle bit of the fence. But you just wonder where <laughs> the spiders are. I've now encountered quite a major problem. And this is going to be the first time Trevor and I are going to have to test out how good the fence is because we're going to have to now cross. So we've got some tracks here, a dingo, kangaroo, Trevor's and mine. <laughs> and then dance if you want to dance, please brother take a chance, you know they're going to go which way they want to go. Around about here, the girls bumped into an Aboriginal man and um, they dived into the acacia bushes and he saw them and called them out and offered them his lunch of tinned meat, which I would appreciate right now. Benefit of the water is all these little mini looking watermelons. It tastes actually like hand sanitizer. My love affair with the fence had reignited. Hello Philomena. So we're back to being the three of us again. And now they're dancing around in the middle of the road. So I don't think this guy knows what he's doing. I'm really tired and struggling today. It's quite hard telling yourself to keep moving when you can't be asked. Oh God, I'm really getting really more rain. It's a drizzle, but it's still rain. Ugh. Ugh. These um, rocks are really hard. He charges my batteries. Um, Trevor and I are all set to go back on the road. We're now in the ghost town of Big Bell, a former gold mining town, and its hotel just here reputedly had the longest bar in the whole of Australia. I am now beginning to regret not attaching a metal detector to Trevor. We could be very rich by now. Couldn't we, Trev? This is Trevor. There's an abandoned homestead down here. Hello. I've wimped out. What a wuss. The wildflowers are in full bloom here. It looks like snow, doesn't it? Dave told me about this rock, which is actually on the fence line. And in it is old handprints. Would have loved it if there was a handprint with Molly was here, 1931. All of a sudden, the big guys charged at me. Had to duck under the fence. ASAP and poor Trev got caught in a barbed wire. There have definitely been some tough moments. Nah, I just feel really close to where Molly and the girls 
would have been.